Welcome to The Explainer. Today we're digging into a really fascinating story, the story of HHVM. This is a custom-built virtual machine that didn't just power one of the biggest websites on the planet, it completely reshaped its entire tech future. All right, so to really get why HHVM even exists, you gotta go back to the beginning. Think about Facebook in the mid 2000s. It's just exploding, right? And its entire code base, it's pretty much all PHP. Now for getting stuff built fast, PHP was awesome, but for a website that's serving hundreds of millions and soon billions of people, yeah, not so great. And that right there was the huge challenge for Facebook's engineers. They were hitting a massive performance wall. So the question was, how in the world do you take this scripting language, something that was never meant for this kind of crazy scale, and make it perform like a super fast compiled language? That was their billion user problem. So to figure out how they solved it, we first have to understand what they were dealing with. Let's pop the hood and see how PHP usually works. Okay, so here's the deal with the Zen engine. It's an interpreter. The best way to think about it is like a live translator who's reading a script out loud for the very first time every single time. So for every single page request from every single user, it's doing the same thing over and over, reading the code, turning it into these things called opcodes, and then running them. It's super flexible, sure, but imagine doing that billions of times a day. At Facebook scale, that repetitive work was just burning through an insane amount of server power. So Facebook's first big swing at this problem was... Well, it was pretty radical. Honestly, it was a bold move. They basically asked, what if we just stopped interpreting PHP? What if we could just change it into a completely different, way faster language? And that idea became HPHPC, or hip hop for PHP. It was what's called a transpiler. So instead of that live translator, imagine taking an entire book, the whole Facebook code base, and painstakingly translating it from PHP into a much more powerful language, C++. Then you take that new C++ version and compile it into one giant super fast program. And you know what? It actually worked. The performance boost was huge. But, and there's always a but, right? This approach brought its own set of massive headaches. For one, the performance gains started to flatline but the real nightmare was for the developers. Imagine having to wait hours just to compile the entire Facebook code base every time you made a change. It was so slow that developers had to use a different separate tool just to do their daily work, a tool that didn't even act the same as the final product. It was clunky, slow, totally unsustainable. So by 2010, the writing was on the wall. HBFC was a dead end. The team knew they needed a completely new way of thinking, and that led to their next gen solution the Hip Hop Virtual Machine, or HHVM for short. And this is the key pivot in the whole story. They threw out that old idea of translating everything ahead of time. Instead, they moved to a dynamic model called Just-in-Time Compilation, or JIT. And this, this was a total game changer. This really shows the genius of the new approach. So remember our live translator for the Zend engine? Well, HHVM is more like a top tier simultaneous interpreter at the UN. The first time they hear a sentence, they translate it but they also remember it. And the more often they hear the same common phrases, what programmers call hot code, the faster and better their translation gets. It's dynamic. It learns and optimizes based on what's happening right now in real time. That's how it gets so incredibly fast, almost as fast as code written in C++ from the start. So how does this JIT thing actually work? Well, it's a super smart process. First, the PHP code gets turned into this intermediate thing called hip hop bytecode. Think of it as a simplified version of the code. Then, as that bytecode is running, the JIT compiler is literally watching it. It spots the pieces of code that are used over and over again and says, ah, this part is important. It then translates just those specific pieces into raw, super-optimized machine code. That final code gets run directly by the computer's brain, the CPU, which makes it lightning fast. And the coolest part is, this all happens live, on the fly. And the results? They were absolutely fantastic. Not only did it fix that awful developer workflow from the old system, but it was also just plain faster. By the end of 2013, HHVM was already beating HPHPC by around 15%. That was it. Facebook made the call and switched the entire website over to its brand new, just-in-time engine. But the story doesn't stop there. And this is where things get really interesting. Because building this super powerful, super flexible engine didn't just solve their PHP problem, it opened the door to something they probably never expected, creating a brand new programming language from scratch. 
And that's exactly what happened. In 2014, Facebook rolled out HHVM 3.0, and with it, they introduced the world to Hack. This was the big turning point. The tool that was built to save PHP was now setting the stage for its own custom language, one that was built to perfectly match its new engine. So what exactly is Hack? The easiest way to think about it is like PHP on steroids. It still felt fast and easy to develop with, like PHP, but it added this one killer feature that's crucial for huge projects, static typing. All that means is that developers can say, hey, this variable should always be a number, or this one should always be text. It sounds simple, but that one rule lets the system catch a whole bunch of potential bugs before the code ever goes live. For a code base as big as Facebook's, that kind of safety net is a lifesaver. When you look at the timeline, you can really see the whole journey unfold. It kicks off in 2011 purely as a way to make PHP faster. Just a few years later, in 2014, it gives birth to its own language. And then, the really big moment. 2017, Facebook announces they're dropping support for PHP entirely. By 2019, the transformation is complete. HHVM is now an engine built for one language, and one language only, hack. And this quote right here, this is the official end of that chapter. It's kind of incredible, right? The very engine created to save PHP had evolved so much that it was now leaving its parent behind. It was a huge, bold move, but it showed just how all in they were on hack and the future they were building. Okay, so that's the history. After that long and winding road, what's the deal with HHVM today? Well, here's the rundown. It's open source, so anybody can use it. It's become this incredibly specialized machine fine-tuned just for the hack language to get every last ounce of performance. And yes, it is very much still alive and kicking. Meta actively develops it, and it's the powerhouse engine running Facebook, Instagram, and a ton of other massive services you use every day. When you step back, it's just a fantastic story about engineering. It all started as this desperate move to fix a performance problem with PHP, but that one solution evolved into a world-class piece of technology, which then spawned a whole new programming language and eventually created its own unique ecosystem. It just goes to show you, sometimes the biggest innovations aren't part of some grand plan. They just come from trying really, really hard to solve the problem that's staring you right in the face. 